Good morning. Uh, welcome to my channel. Blow out your siphon hose first. Make sure there's no little creepy critters in it. You want it clean. The other thing you want to remember is this isn't a straw. One little, one little uh, suck on that. Two, you'll get a mouthful of gasoline. This right here is my 12 foot aluminum boat for small ponds. You're looking at George. And I've got a plow for the tractor. We put that on the bucket. And down there in the woods is my utility trailer for the four wheeler or a six wheeler. Uh, that's how we get the bears out of the woods, uh, deer, anything that I can load into that trailer will be coming with me. That is a 250 gallon oil tank strapped onto the axle of a Model T Ford from 
what I understand of it anyways. I bought that thing. Oh, I've got a story behind it. I'll tell it later on. But I bought that thing 30 years ago for $20. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you what I got tucked here in the, in the woods. I stopped here because I want to show you this birch tree. It is the birch bark is just falling off it all the way up it. Loads and loads and loads of it. But what I really stopped for is about, I would say, 25 feet off the ground. I'm going to try, I don't know, I'll get up there, maybe I can see it and I'll show it to you. There it is, right in the center of my viewfinder. Let me just, sorry for the camera movement. I'm going to zoom in on that. 25 feet off the ground is a huge piece of chaga. See it up there? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to come back. I'm going to cut down a tree that's 25 feet long and I'm going to knock that piece of chaga off there. That's a beautiful piece of chaga. But look at the birch bark on that tree. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I've ever seen a birch tree peeling that bad. I'll move up a little closer. I'm, I'm camera setting on moss, so awful hard to keep it still. But look at the birch bark on that tree. And right in the center of my camera is that huge piece of chogger. I don't know if it's coming out for you, but there's a piece of chaga there that is, oh, half a size of a basketball. And all I gotta do, I can cut down one of these spruce trees that are just as tall as it is, make it so it's man size, and I can knock that with the top of that tree, and I know that thing will fall down on the ground. It's a, it needs to be saved, it's way up there. But what a beautiful birch tree for natural tenders. More birch bark tree in that tree right there than you need in a month. All the way to the ground. If you're looking for a channel that they will all they want to do is teach you how to carve wooden spoons and carve wooden bowls, this is not the channel for you. Uh, I do not carve wooden spoons. I do not carve wooden bowls. I'm not knocking it. It's just I don't, I don't spend my time on that. But what I do do is I go into in depth uh, winter survival, hypothermia, I, uh, fire building at its worst, worst conditions, building a fire uh, straight out of a bucket of water, stuff like that. Now, if you're looking for bushcraft knowledge that's in that department, then I guarantee you won't be disappointed with this channel. Because, like I said, I go into in depth how to take care of yourself in the bush uh, at all times of the year. Not just in the summertime when it's all rosy and everything is warm and cuddly and cozy. Or you're on a hiking trail that's all mapped out for you with paint on the trees and all of that stuff. Uh, this this channel is about raw woods, being able to take care of yourself in raw woods or bush, whatever you want to call it. That's what this channel is about. So subscribe to the channel, come on in, check us out, and see what we're all about. I do not think that you will be disappointed.